Yeah, I mean, I don't work so much festivals, not so much now. I go in and do various different, you know, some of them I do, I, I end up spending the duration of the festival there. Uh, but now it's more kind of go in, do a day and then come out of it. Uh, but then in saying that, talk about festivals, I mean, download Sonisphere. I shot Metallica at Sonisphere, Iron Maiden at Sonisphere, Motorhead, Motley Crue. The list goes on. It's massive. It's massive. And I've just released my second book, which is a celebration, personal celebration of 50 years of the Cambridge Folk Festival, which is possibly one of the longest festivals that I've worked over the years of my career. I spent pretty much 11 years back to back up there, uh, working in various different guises with musicians, record companies, management companies, whatever. And then in 2009, I was approached by a specialist music book publisher to do a one-off book which was titled 10 that uh, was my celebration visually of that period of time that I'd worked at the Cambridge Folk Festival uh, which was then the endorsed book by the festival and the Cambridge Council and all that kind of stuff and then I think it was probably about two months ago I released the second one which is my personal celebration of the 50th anniversary because it's one of the longest running festivals in the world but when we say Cambridge Folk Festival, it's not folk at all. You know, there's little bits of that, but I mean, legendary artists of, of you know, play it every year. Um, you know, no end of people, Levelers and, you know, Bill Wyman and, you know, the list goes on. Chris Christopherson, fantastic play people. And my involvement in that really has come through the American side because I work quite a bit in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, I got kind of hooked into a lot of things going over there. And Cambridge Folk Festival is one place where they bring a lot of legendary American performers. You know, Steve Earle and people like this who don't, they just don't bother to really leave the US. But they come to the UK and they'll get Cambridge Folk Festival. So, you know, I've worked with them here or worked with them in the US or whatever. And it's, it's just moved over. So, but pretty much all those kind of things, you know, Summer Sunday at uh, Leicester, uh, High Voltage Festival, which was a, a big rock gig. And because uh, I'm official photographer for Planet Rock Radio. Um, so we do a big festival each year called Planet Rockstock, which is put on by Planet Rock Radio. And they feature some legendary artists. So it's, 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 it's a massive catalogue. 